conference is because uh, there are so many versions of uh, what is actually going on with regards to the publication of my book, which is a hard copy book. It is not an e book. Uh, and the manipulation by various sources to publish a book which they claim is mine. Firstly, uh, I'd like to make it very clear. The book that is circulating online is not my book. If you look at the level of English used in the book, you will realize that it is very poorly constructed. Further, if you look at the back pages of the book, you realize that the documents placed there, there are I think 10 documents, all came from the site of one of the pro-opposition members, one of their directors, which he had published, I think, a day or two days before. Um, this is disrupting my process. I believe uh, there are elements out there who are trying to confuse the public on what is the true story and what is really happening with regards to all my allegation and all my exposures that I've done so far. I'm a little bit disturbed by Rafizi's uh, continuous actions, which to me is is merely sabotaging his own uh, party president. Uh, Dr. Sri Anwar claims he has never met me. Rafizi claims that he has met me once. He gave a press conference to say that I've met uh, Dr. Sri Anwar once, but this is uh, completely different from what Dr. Sri has claimed that I've never met. The truth be told, which I have mentioned, I met that was three and one once the day before the, the, my court case in November. And prior to that, during the month of Ramadan 2012, I, met, I have met him two, three times. I don't know what Rafizi is trying to achieve. Uh, to me, He's going to stand for election, maybe he should stand in Kota Belok lah, because he looks like he's the uh, Belok in own party by not only uh, contradicting what his party president has uh, said, but going further to confusing the entire process of the LTAT uh, deal. Now, the LTAT deal. I have agreed to come forward and I will be coming forward uh, through Haraka to give the entire account what started the LTAT uh, acquisition, the process it went through and how we finally had to succumb. We had to succumb and accept $30 million on a $400 million piece of land. Now, to me, Rafizi has actually in, in the press made a statement that he doesn't want me to get involved with LTAT because he knows everything that happened. But he's not a wizard of Oz. He cannot know whatever happened because he was never there. I was. So how can he know? Uh, allow me to give the true picture because I was there. Allow me to explain the details of what happened. And allow me to today make this statement. I'm prepared to buy back the land for LTAT because they have given me a mere 30 million, which is the money I invested. The land is worth 400 million dollars. I'm prepared to take back the land and give them back the 30. Please give me back the land. I just want to make sure the Sangal government can give me the title. That's all I see. I don't want to make this into a, a political mudslinging match and allow any party, whether it is a pro-government party, pro-opposition party, <coughs> we are, my intention is to resolve this problem. 
as far as my exposures are concerned, I will continue to speak the truth. I, I said it is not going to be possible to silence me. It is not possible to purchase me. I'm priceless. I, I think uh, it's high time uh, that Sri Anwar increase uh, the allocation to Rafizi from 5 million to 15 million uh, because it looks like he's on a, a Kotobalot uh, syndrome here. He seems to be contradicting whatever his uh, party president is telling him. Now, that is not going to work with me. Uh, Rafizi mentioned in his last press conference that uh, the reason why they have not been in contact with me is they are worried of some form of a trickery or some form of uh, manipulation as far as whatever I have exposed. Whatever I have exposed is the truth. There is no denying the truth. Whatever he is exposing it has come to manipulation. I mean, where did this book come from? Where did these documents come from? I confirmed in my last press conference, the books were not for me. The documents that he put on the table claiming the 30 million actually has derailed. The whole week has been wasted. Actually, by now, I think we have already reached uh, the climax of my exposure. But I see Maybe a word of uh, caution to Dr. Sri Anwar, you should put a more senior man together with Rafizi. Maybe a bit of wisdom will help get this thing forward and help the opposition in the process to enable all these exposures to come up fast. Until today, I have not received a call from Rafizi. I have SMS him, I have called him, he has not returned my call. And I am still waiting confirmation on whether he really wants to call me. So, as far as he is concerned, I think I have decided today by calling the press conference, uh, I don't think Rafizi, we can work together. Uh, uh, it's not going to happen because your goal and my goal are completely different. I am here to expose the truth. You are here to create mileage for yourself, even at the expense of your party president. I think we have different goals and we cannot work together. What I am today announcing is that I'm starting a series of nine media conferences every other day starting from this Thursday, where I will go to the base, to the foundation of where this whole thing has started. As uh, they say in uh, Basa Malaysia, dari akar sehingga ke buahnya, apa yang telah terjadi, ya? apa yang sebenar-benarnya daripada permulaan kisah ini kepada last press conference yang telah diberi daripada berbagai pengak. Dan saya ingin menyatakan Jika sesuatu yang saya memberitahu Adalah salah atau merupakan satu penipuan Saya sedia menghadap kepada Tuhan Saya sedia menerima hukuman saya Tetapi sekiranya apa yang saya akan Memberitahu kepada kesemua pihak merupakan kebenaran saya minta semua pihak tolong jangan putar belikan cerita saya jangan putar belikan demi duit demi political mileage demi nak menaikkan taraf anda atas kerugian kepada rakyat Malaysia yang lain kerana kebenaran itu terkebenaran you cannot change the truth and whatever you say and do kalau hari ini kamu menipu tomorrow you have to turn back and say the truth this is what happened to Rafizi he have to confess now that indeed I have met uh, Datuk Sri Anwar he have to confess now that indeed I have contacted him but he closed the door so we cannot expose to that channel we are now working with uh, Haraka, we are working with FAST, 
we are now in contact with the EAP senior team. We will use our exposure from there. It's a loss to PKR. Why? Because they have someone there who is overzealously interested in his own political mileage. I don't see him doing any good to PKR. If these exposures are going to be conducted in this manner, it will defeat the purpose. It's can only happen if the truth prevails, if the truth is exposed. I'm prepared to put the truth on the table. Rafizi must come up and say, if he says he got it from a third party or intermediary, please lah, bring this third party intermediary here. I'm prepared to say face to face, with or without the media. Don't bring phantoms into the play. This is not a phantom play. This is an opportunity for all Malaysians to know the truth. Don't spoil my, my process. I ask that henceforth PKR can continue to support me, but please, with regards to my matters, my request to our future Prime Minister, uh, uh, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, please ask Rafizi, don't interfere with my work. I don't trust him. I don't think he's doing any good to you, to the party, to your party. Okay, I will be starting my my exposures from this Thursday. Uh, I have uh, the details of most of the press. I will start from the base. So please be patient with me. I will open everything from the first day what started to the final what has really been revealed. And for me, it is my decision. Nobody is behind me, nobody is supporting me, against me. As far as, as I am concerned, I decided I will not be able to work with the political machinery either way simply because we have different objectives, we have different goals. My, I'm not interested in anybody's work. I'm not interested in your work, I'm not even standing for election. What I'm interested in is to expose the truth. So if the media is with me, that's good enough. That is all I see. Do we have any questions? Nine series, a series of nine, uh, yes. yes. There are three fundamental issues. One, we talk about the SD. Yeah. Two, we talk about the Raja Rupiah deal. Three, we talk about all the other business dealings I have with the family of the Prime Minister. These are the three fundamentals. So I split it into nine series. Every other day. Definitely, uh, same venue. The Lima region has been very kind. He give us a 50% discount. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, are you possible to work with Park Council in the investigation? The yes. I'm uh, definitely going to... They have actually written to me. I plan to write back to them. Uh, firstly, I think Lim Chi Wa... Uh, Lim Chi Wei. Lim Chi Wei. Lim Chi Wei was not very kind with me on his first article. But it's okay. I will be dealing with the Bar Council, new president coming in. I'll be writing to him directly. I think uh, that will give... The f we are looking for the future. We are looking for new Malaysia. So, if the Bar Council has already uh, nominated a new president, I will be writing to him. And uh, and for information, I know Lim Chiwe. I met him prior to this. Uh, I'm very... Uh, a little bit uh, tersinggung lah dengan perkataan dia, dia, dia. To me, it's very simple. If the bar council wants to investigate, investigate lah. Kalau tak mau investigate, cakap lah tak mau investigate. Janganlah ke kiri, ke kanan, ke kiri, ke kanan. Kiri atau kanan. Okay? So, in this case, I think uh, he, for all the good that he has done, he built so much credibility, uh, walking down the Persei Street, coming up while he was the sitting president. 
but as uh, outgoing president on the matter of the crunch, I think he chose friendship over duty. He uh, the support uh, dalam bahasa English dengan uh, tadi abang lambat masuk ada line president. Saya ada support uh, information daripada buku ni saya lihat keluar dari dua tempat. Satu uh, rafiziramli.com ada yang dokumen dia nyatakan 13 juta jewelry semua dan memang exactly sama lah dokumen sana dia boleh paste saja saya tak tahu dia buat atau ada orang yang nampak dokumen dalam dalam blog dia keluarkan selepas tu saya tengok yang dia tulisan tu mengikut exactly my press conference dengan harakah sama sequence of event saya bagi press conference dengan Haraka saya rasa 12 hari bulan November hari ni Disember now January dah tak ingat saya pula tarik dia saya tak ingat sorry sorry I'm very bad with it uh, somewhere in November lah tapi perkataan-perkataan semua sama tapi dalam press conference saya saya refer saya sebagai DIPA saya refer semua orang sebagai nama-nama dia nama lawyer pun saya keluar seperti nama yang sebenar-benarnya tapi buku ni dia dia tukar nama dia tukar ni jadi kalau saya yang keluarkan buku se, secara logik lah saya dah buat video apa saya nak takut lagi actually ini attempt untuk paksa saya jangan keluarkan buku saya buku saya dah siap saya bukan buat e-book saya buat buku novel saya dah bagi tahu dengan semua press sebelum ni buku saya is not an e-book It's a actual no, and I dah print dah. Kawan-kawan saya pun dah ada. It's not 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 even close to cerita dongeng ni. Ini memang cerita benar. Uh, the Black Rose ni cerita benar. And I think inilah masalah bila kadang-kadang ada orang yang I'm not saying whether government ke proposition dia overly ambitious lah dia overly, overly ambitious i remember uh, something sultan selangor quoted once he said you may be educated you may have an oxford degree but it doesn't mean you are wise okay it doesn't mean you are wise uh, he was referring to something else but i'm referring to rafizi lah uh, because i'm only from five student so he's much more educated than me but i think I waited 2 years to expose everything. Takkan tak boleh tunggu 2 hari. Tunggulah 2 hari. Why are you trying to derail the whole process? Okay. Saya yang, yang saya nampak dalam website dia ada satu dokumen menunjukkan ada pembayaran semua syarikat saya. Tapi you can I I boleh bagi surat you boleh pergi bank memang dokumen tu tak asal. It's not a real document. So tak ada pembayaran apa tu dokumen tu tak benar. Dokumen tu tak benar. Ya. Yeah. Saya boleh confirm. Kita tengah compile semua Rafizi punya statement-statement. Pasal dia uh, the last statement very good lah. Dia memang sahkan uh, Datuk Seri Anwar jumpa saya sedangkan Datuk Seri Anwar nafikan. Jadi <coughs> kita pun tengah tengok lah apa dia sedang ni. Uh, my lawyer tengah kumpul-kumpul we are planning <coughs> Uh, kalau ada dokumen dalam blog dia yang memang original uh, macam mana dia dapat dokumen tu uh, ada kait ni related to mafia game for him I tak nak tindas dia I tak nak susahkan dia tapi saya minta lah kalau benda betul benda benar mengaku je kalau ada orang bagi dokumen dengan you tolong bagi tahu nama orang tu kasihan semalam Datuk Ravi Dalam pula kena I can confirm, Rabi Daran, I tak pernah bagi dokumen I confirm Saya sumpah lah Atas nama Tuhan saya lah ha? Pagi tadi saya pergi kuil Tak ada orang UMNO yang di belakang saya Untuk tumbangkan Datuk Najib Tak ada Itu saya ambil nama Tuhan lah Kalau saya tipu mati lah hari ni saya. Tak ada Ini my own crusade kalau ada orang UMNO belakang saya, buat apa saya nak layan dengan orang DAP, orang PKR, nak layan si Rafi Zinia, malah nak layan dia. I got the more powerful people uh, with me. I tak payah.
sampai yang kiri kanan macam ni, I senang je dia. Actually, I dah cakap, if I go, I go all the way. I made it very clear. I think, as far as the tanah is concerned, I waited for Raja Rupia up to the last, last night of before the AMNO AGM for her to keep her promise. She never keep her promise. From then on, once I expose, I really promise to the press, I promise to myself, I will go all the way up. I can't turn back now, I will disappoint so many people who have trusted me. I can't betray that trust. So these things work, is it that you are putting like a black people private business? For what? I got nothing to gain from him. I got no project with him. You can go and check what project has he given me. I do, whatever I have is already last two years already finished already. I got nothing to do with it. If Raja Ropia has settled the matter and we have resolved it nicely, I think maybe I most probably would not have taken the first step. But after taking the first step, I see this is really an opportunity for me to cleanse everything. You know, maybe the Mayan calendar is a new beginning for me lah, personally. So it's a, it's a chance to cleanse and get all these things clear. I I do, I mean, I saw pergi kedai mama, the pergi makan, the other day I was in, uh, in uh, very close to Batu Cape on place. Somebody come up to me and shake my hand and say, we really appreciate you are telling everything. Tak ada orang yang berani to expose. So I appreciate, I think indirectly, I'm getting blessing lah. Banyak orang yang bless me lah. So ada orang tanya, you tak takut ke tak pakai bodyguard? Tak ada Tuhan ada. I, I, I believe, kalau saya cakap salah, kalau saya tipu, saya manipulasi, okay, maybe I I will be scared. But I'm just speaking the truth. That I know the truth can be very bitter. Can be very bitter. But I think it's high time Malaysian deserve to know the truth. Bala SD was something brought up by the reporter. I think that the first time the Bala SD came out was in this room. They were more interested to know about the SD than uh, the uh, Raja Rupiah matter. Because there was something in the past that was going on. So that's where this whole thing... It, the SD is something which I will touch on. The SD also has a lot of events. Uh, events which I wish to share. And uh, I request you give me that 9 days. Lah. But it will do justice for everyone in relation to know everything about the SD. The SD is actually a very interesting... That The SD itself can be made into a book, a best-seller. I if kalau I nak balas dendam, it's a personal thing, no. I am doing this because I, time, I believe it's time Malaysia know the whole truth. From the... If you go back to the court case on November 27, from that point, I already make it very clear. I am interested to keep the land that I've invested in. Saya sudah melabur para close to 30 million ke tanah ni. Tanah ni bernilai para 7 juta. Jadi, tak logik lah. Kalau saya tahu tanah ni dah melambung naik nilai, saya pula nak jual tanah ni. Kalau hari ini saya tengok keadaan LDT pun tengah dibidas, Bauster pun tengah dibidas, for buying the share, saya volunteer lah openly. Saya sanggup beli balik saham. Jadi saya dapat balik tanah. Saya umpamun bagi saya title, saya okey lah. I, I can put the tanah in the market. I jual tanah sajalah. Jangan buat development pun I dapat 300 million. You can check market price. Promise to launch the book, I call the press conference. Two hours before I launch the want to launch the press conference, this fellow come and disturb me with all these stories uh, of allegation of the 13 million. And then uh, one day later, he himself or whoever it is, I don't know whether he launched the book. Somebody launches a book and claims that this book is an e-book by Deepak. Yeah. So I think there are parties who are using uh, some form of uh, taking the opportunity to create this thing. My book is a novel. I will launch the novel. I need to get everything legally correct. Uh, everything right. That's why my series of nine 
press conference will be my last. After that night con press conference, I nak tukar handphone number. Dah. Saya hantar dengan semua journalist. I think uh, ada yang memang dah terima the ni. Memang itu saya punya SMS lah. I deny the book is mine. I think it's all facts. I I meet during my Haraka press conference. I have explained the SD in total. What I have not explained is why this SD has come out. In my series of nine, I will explain why in the first place this SD two came out. What were the events? Because I know. You see, you can't ask this from Rafizi because he can only assume. That's why when he made a statement to say, I think I don't need Deepak to involve in LTAT matter, I know I can read everything. Yes, but you were not there. You don't know everything. I'm not saying I'm cleverer than you. But in this instance, I know because I was there. In the case of the SD, even before the SD2, I was there. I knew what happened from the beginning. So you must, if you want to know the truth, Give me the opportunity to present. If you don't give me the opportunity and you block, and then you come up with all these spins and stories, to me, what I look, what my reading is, as I, I mentioned, Koto uh, Belo, uh, Rafizini is not doing justice to PKR. Actually, there's a, this uh, SD matter is a fantastic opportunity. The LTAT matter is a fantastic opportunity. But he's instead of joining hands and Exposing it, he is confusing the whole situation. And the, the key person who knows all this is me. So you are urging uh, Rafizi to stop? Uh, I don't want Rafizi to stop. So you are urging I'm, Rafizi to stop? I'm, I'm, so I'm saying, saying let Rafizi concentrate on his lambo and all that, finish all that chapter still going on. I, I urge Datuk Sri Anwar, give someone who is a little bit more wiser, I'm very, very sure there are so many people who have been with Dr. Sri Anwar, loyalists in the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Get someone senior who's wise. Maybe not a degree holder, accountant, lah, but it's still wisdom important to manage. With that wisdom, even I work with Haraka people, some can't even talk English, but they are the wisdom. They have wisdom. They are able to understand. They are able to comprehend. And they are able to see the situation for what it really is. So, Give me someone who has that wisdom. This thing. What I'll do to give the press a head start, I, I'm going to uh, transcript this whole thing and start sending out. So, uh, take a more professional approach. Lah. I saw some of the things uh, I need documents <coughs> to prove. Like the Puspa Hanas matter. Uh, I actually want to bring the document. I put it in my car. Then I realized it's an OSA document. I cannot uh, release it. So, problem. So I want to just take out extraction from the document. The contract for Puspa Anas is not 72 million, it's 98 point something million. So Rafizi saying that it's 70 million is wrong.